Now we can finally reveal this house. Michael is in Brisbane to see the latest home from Bright Black Developments. I'm here in the Brisbane suburb of Paddington to catch up with Ben from Bright Black Developments who has previously shown us through two of his Hampton style houses. But if contemporary is more your style, don't worry because he's a master at that as well. I absolutely love seeing timber paired with black and you know you've got that on the facade and it looks absolutely amazing. That can't beat it. Great combination of uh, material and uh, never dates. Alright mate, well should we take a look? Let's go. Alright. Well Ben, that was quite the entry. I love the use of the timber and you've got this really impressive wine cellar as soon as you walk in the front door. Yeah, we've tried to make a bit of an impact from the front door, a bit of a feature, and it really sets the tone for the rest of the house. Well that's exactly right, you know, it's the first thing people see so they know they're going to be in for something impressive. Yeah, nice conversation piece. That kitchen is stunning. I love a dark kitchen. Works really well with the timber and complements well and uh, really has a good feel about it. And so what is that product? Is that the fingerprint proof product? Yeah, it is. It's a Nick Pole joinery uh, done by Imperium Glass and Cabinetry. And again, you've used the same timber feature here in the, in the front of the kitchen bench? Yeah, we've used the porter timber throughout the house uh, in the entry, on the bench and also up in the master. That's actually a, a panel piece, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's uh, too wide and uh, comes in about 80 mil wide, and we just clad the clad the face of it. And mate, of course, this place, uh, builder's worst nightmare, a sloping block. How was the build process? Mate, it was uh, it was pretty arduous. We took about two and a half thousand cube of uh, rock out of here. We broke uh, three rock hammers, but mate, we got there in the end, and this is the end product. And in terms of the design of this place, is it is it one of your designs or do you use a, a designer? Yeah, so we work hand in hand with a designer, uh, Synergy Building Design, and we really come up with a good concept and a good house that flows well with all uh, areas that work really well with natural light. Okay, and in terms of layout, how do you set this home up? It's a really flowing home, so very wide hallways, a lot of natural light. Uh, the stairwell, as you'll see in a minute, is all stacked on top of each other. Um, so a real feature piece, living on the middle level. So it's all open and flows well with the pool and surroundings. Well, let's talk about the pool. We're in inner city Brisbane and you've managed to squeeze in a pool in a sloping site this size. Amazing. Yeah, mate, the feedback is always uh, the pool isn't big enough in a small at home. So what we did is uh, put a 30 meter lap pool in with a spa seat and a bit of a punch pool at the other end. And of course, you've got these amazing sliding doors that you can open up and you've got the pool fence in front of it, so obviously it all complies. Yeah, it all opens up well, all compliant, and uh, you get nice airflow and it is seamless from inside to outside. It's also got a 90 square metre master on its own with a suite. Wow, that sounds impressive. Butler's pantry, every room has its own ensuite and also a three-storey lift. And so last season we saw you guys deliver this amazing Hamptons home, so you obviously don't just stick to one style. What's your favourite? Look, it's always been contemporary. Um, you know, that's our, that's our fundamental design and we love it. And so what finishes make a contemporary home? Uh, look, we, we have a lot of natural finishes. Obviously the use of white and black is very prominent throughout these homes. And then it's warmed up with stuff like the, the limestone. Yeah, these tiles are amazing. What are they? Yeah, they're a Turkish limestone uh, called Silver Shadow. So they're imported directly from Turkey and uh, we use them throughout this house. Mate, I'm, I'm certainly intrigued by this 90 square metre master level. Should we go take a look? Let's have a look. All right. Well, I've certainly seen a lot of master suites, but this one is super impressive. This is going to sell the house. Mate, we hope so. Um, we designed it that way and it functions well. And you know, if you've got young children, you can have a nursery. If you're a young professional, you can create a study area there and uh, it works really well. What are you talking about? If you've got young children, you put a door there and then this is your space to come up and just have a nice little retreat. Mate, in an ideal world, yes. <laughs> 
Hey, what about that walk-in wardrobe? It's huge! Mate, uh, it is plenty big. Uh, I think my wife would still complain there's not enough room. Right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it is plenty big. So that's enough room for your wife and then yours yep. is what is downstairs in a drawer somewhere. Yeah, mine will be tucked away in the media room downstairs. Yeah. Right <laughs> Let's talk through the design of the bathroom. We designed the bathroom in a way that it was open and free flowing. So uh, we have the showers very open, uh, triple shower head, double vanity, um, and the toilet tucked away around the corner. And again, you've bought this amazing timber panelling upstairs. Yeah, it really sets off the sets off the room and complements the floor and the other fixtures and fittings. Mate, I love this floor. Like as a cheapy artist, everywhere I look, I, I, if there's timber floors, I just love it. Yeah, we really love the black butt species and use a lot of it in our houses. Something I have noticed that I love throughout this home is your choice of lights. You know, you've got these amazing pendants here, and that one over the stairwell, I think your Sparky must have hated you when you wanted him to put that up. He wasn't impressed. We sprung it on him at the last minute just to uh, keep, him, keep him sweet. But in all seriousness, you know, I think the lighting design can definitely make or break a home. Absolutely. The feature makes a big impact on the home, and we try and get these handmade features uh, so no one else has them, and it's nice and unique. All right, mate. Well, I always love going and check out people's outdoor areas. Should we go take a look? Let's go have a look. All right. I guess a project like this, you know, really comes down to material selections. And, you know, that's something that I think you guys have done really well here. You've got that express joint panelling. You've got the natural timber on the facade. You've got VJs. Is that something that you guys, you know, put a lot of effort into? Yeah, we do. Uh, we pick those things really uh, meticulously, um, just for subtle features, and uh, I think it's worked really well in this home. Okay, what's your favourite part of this project? I think for me, the favourite part of this project is between the tiles and the uh, port timber and the panel. Well, Ben, last time you proved to us that you know how to put together a Hamptons home, this season it's this amazing contemporary home. I look forward to seeing what you've got coming up. Thanks, Michael. Thanks, Ben.